Welcome to this uh, pre-match uh, match day minus one press conference. Sorry for the small delay. Uh, we are very pleased to be here prior to this very uh, exciting and, and uh, important game for, for our team. Um, just a few practical information. Uh, we have 1,400 Danish fans uh, in, in uh, Zagreb. Uh, I think they're already uh, having a, a good party somewhere in the town. Uh, we're selling shirts, we're having a good time, and, and uh, the fans are also looking forward to this match. With me, I have our national team coach, who will do a short introduction in a little while. Then we have our captain, Simon Kea. It's good to have you back. And uh, Pierre-Emil uh, at the far right. We'll do a short introduction in English, answer some questions in English, and uh, when no more questions in English, we will open for questions in Danish and so forth. Thank you, Kasper. Good evening, everyone. Nice to see you. Um, and welcome back. Good, good to have you here again. Um, yeah, we can't wait to get started. It's a, it's a great game for us. Um, we are in a situation where we, with a win, will be able to, to win um, this group. We had a final against Belgium two years ago, uh, the last match, uh, match number six in, um, in Nations League, and we didn't take it. And this time we will do everything we can to take it this time. Um, we're up against, in some parts of the game, one of the best teams in the world um, with what they are good at. It's, um, it's, a, it's great quality. So we obviously have great respect for, for Croatia, but we also have a, a strong, strong team and we'll We'll do everything we can to set up the team as, as well as possible and fight and play um, so we can get the result we want. Um, we're always aiming to win and we have a dream to win something and, um, and this um, a group win will be um, a very big thing for, for us and for Danish football, so we'll do everything. Thank you. All right, please raise your hand to state your media and who the question is for. Hi, I'm Edin from uh, Croatian National Television. Uh, welcome to Croatia. Uh, can you tell us, uh, we read about uh, a lot of injured players in your team. Uh, can you tell us uh, who's missing and are you able to replace them and uh, find the solutions for tomorrow's game? Uh, it's going to be a long speech if I'm telling you all the players we, that's not here from Denmark. So, But we do have some, some injuries. Um, but uh, we have a, a strong team with us, and um, it's better for me to talk about the players who are here. We, uh, we are ready, um, and uh, we, are, we are ready for tomorrow against a very good, as I said, a very, very good Croatian side. Um, I'm impressed with Croatian football, not only football, but sports, and I think we have a lot of similarities, um, five, uh, five million people and four million people, and, um, and uh, to be able to compete at a high level in many sports, I think, um, I think it's uh, it's great to see, and uh, it's a great competition between two small giants. Yep, in the back. Thank you. We've seen in the first game we've seen uh, two different sides of Croatia in the first half and the second half. We are probably preparing for the Croatia from the second half, and also our national coach said that uh, that is the lineup for tomorrow's match. Yeah, we expected something like this. Of course, uh, they are looking at at second half as um, as an ideal of the way they want to play, and we are looking at first half. And I think it's uh, it's going to be a an arm wrestle about the ball because both teams want to play with the ball and be dominant as much as possible. And um, uh, and we we learned a lot from that match. Um, and um, yeah, let's see tomorrow. Um, it's going to be tight and very interesting, and um, we can't wait to get started. <laughs> 